Hi everyone, it's Mike here with Computer Cuisine Deluxe. I'm, you're going to have to bear with me just for a little bit on this one because I'm trying to make a video to show the iPhone app, which is cuisine to go That is available for free from the Apple Store. And in order to use cu cuisine to go to read or view your recipe collection or your grocery list, you will need two things. One, it requires a registered version of Computer Cuisine Deluxe 6.1 or later. That is the desktop version that's available for either Mac or Windows. And you will also need a wireless home Wi-Fi connection to transfer your recipe information wirelessly to your either your iPhone or iPad. The cuisine to go app does work with the iPad. It works in a simulation mode, but you'll be able to view your recipes just as easily as you could on the iPhone. So I'm going to go ahead and just launch the cuisine to go app and give you an idea of just some of the basic features so hopefully you'll be able to utilize this if you're already registered with Computer Cuisine Deluxe 6.1. You can click the view your recipes as from the main menu and you can scroll through various recipes that you have and this is just the default list of recipes that comes with the Cuisine to Go app. So any of these recipes you can just click on, give a nice little view and you can see that it has the information here, your complete um, method, ingredients, everything that you would have from the the standard desktop version of Computer Cuisine Deluxe you have in your Cuisine To Go app. You have all that ingredients and method and then if you ever wanted to email this this recipe to a friend you just click email here. It punches up an email and then there you have it. Karen's pumpkin cheesecake is all set up. It's all typed for you. You don't have to type anything whatsoever and you're ready to go. Just fill out who you'd like to email that to, and you're on your way. Click cancel if you need to, or send, and it will send, and you're right back to the cuisine to go app. So it's really powerful as a reader application. Think of it this way. This is a reader app. You're not going to enter in your information from this particular iPhone app. It's more of a reader app that where you manage your entire recipe database on your desktop computer, and then you use this free reader app to just have that collection at your disposal on the go via your iPhone or iPad. So from the main menu, you have options such as view your recipes, view your grocery list. Let's view a sample grocery list. And again, this is just a sample grocery list that comes with the app. This is not your particular grocery list, but it's just a default little sampling to give you an idea. Now you can import your recipes here, import your grocery list. It has a built-in help file with just some basic questions and then you can directly visit the website or the message forum from the bottom of the app. So it's very simple. But now let's say you have a wireless home Wi-Fi connection and you've also registered Computer Cuisine Deluxe 6.1 and now you want to enter in your own recipes. First thing you want to do is go back to the home menu and you want to click on settings right here. If you click on settings, the app has its own app settings right here, Cuisine to Go. And you just want to click Cuisine to Go, and you'll see that it's set to use the default recipes and grocery list. So if you're going to import your own, first thing you want to do is turn that off. And you can also just have a little loading screen delay in case you wanted to just eliminate that startup screen or make it a little shorter, longer, whatever. You can just enter in the delay there. Go back to the settings, and now we know when we launch the Cuisine to Go app that it is now ready to accept our custom collection of recipes or grocery list. So I'm going to go ahead and click import your grocery um, import your recipes. What this is actually doing is it's actually starting a mini server. That's a server inside your iPhone that's going to be used to accept the recipe data file that you have from your desktop version. So on your desktop, you're going to launch a web browser. It can be anything, Safari, Firefox, Internet Explorer, any web browser, and you're going to type that exact long URL that you see right there. This URL will be different for everyone. You are not going to type this exact URL. That's mine for this particular iPhone and my network. But you're going to type whatever you see on your iPhone or iPad right here where it says HTTP. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm on my desktop and I can't really show you right here as well, but just bear with me that I'm... I, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a collection, a recipe collection that really just has a bunch of cakes. So what I'm going to do is right now just temporarily stop the server just so you can see that 
the only con collection that is included with the app is the recipes.xml. That's, that's that standard default collection of recipes that, that we scrolled through earlier. Now I'm going to send mine, I'm going to restart that server, and I'm going to send mine to the phone right now. Send this to the iPhone, and it's called cuisineall.xml. That is my complete recipe collection, and it just happens to be one with only cakes. I'm going to go ahead and click Submit on the desktop version. Just, just did that in my browser, and it just sent over. So now I can click Stop, and you can see, voila, cuisineall.xml just got sent wirelessly to the phone. It's all set. Stop the server. And now, when we go back to the main menu, and we click View Your Recipes, now instead of those other recipes that we had as default, now it's all cakes because that was my entire collection. Your entire collection could be a thousand recipes, it could be 500, it could be five, it doesn't really matter. It will send your entire recipe collection over there and now when you select Black Forest Cherry Cake, you can see that it's now one of the recipes in the list. It can be as long as possible, it can be just like you see on the screen in your desktop version and you're ready to go. You have the same functionality, you can click Mail, you can go back to the recipe main menu and if there's ever favorites or other, let me see, let's go back to the view your recipes. If you had any favorites right here, two of them are listed as favorites, so it weeds out the rest from your list. And then if you want to go back and see the entire recipe list, you can just go back to the main menu, go to view, and you can see that it's showing your entire recipe collection right here. This recipe collection has 26 recipes in it. That is just that particular one that I imported, but if you click favorites, there's only two that are tagged as favorites, and I must say chocolate speed cake is excellent. So uh, that's really it. I just wanted to show you the brief rundown of the Cuisine to Go app. Once again, it requires Computer Cuisine Deluxe 6.1 or later registered, and it does require a home wireless Wi-Fi connection. So that's it. Hopefully this helped you, and if you have any questions, please visit our message forum right here and post any questions for support. Thanks.